and welcome to MBA 590 Digital Marketing. Today we're going to be talking about video marketing. Uh, and we've talked a lot about videos in this class before. We talked about content marketing and some other places. So this isn't going to be as long as some of the others. It's just going to more highlight some of the particular issues you might run into in the video context. So video is absolutely great for marketers, right? Because it offers an extremely rich, engaging, and stimulating experience. People have real emotional contacts and connections with videos that they see. Uh, and increased bandwidth plus improved technology, faster smartphones, etc., has made watching, sharing, recording, and editing videos easier than ever before, right? The fact that you can now do live streaming of videos and things like this makes it extremely popular and extremely valuable as a tool. So, you know, I'm just going to try and highlight a couple of videos that I think are well done as, as in terms of marketing uh, over the years. So, for instance, this is a video that Reebok did called 25,915 days, uh, which is the number of days in the average life of uh, the days in the life of the average human. And it basically shows a bunch of great things from running races to everything else and goes all the way back to a baby in uh, its original crib, right? And it has a very emotional connection, right? Illustrating that. And it fits really uh, well with uh, one of Reebok's taglines, which is be more human, right? So you only have these many days left. We're gonna show you strong connections, right? Now, you can also make sure, you wanna make sure that the videos that you're creating are really tied to the digital strategy of your firm, right? Videos and images a lot of times do not contribute much to SEO, in other words, to drawing people to your website uh, through search, but they should be thought of as more of an engagement vehicle with the users. And as I mentioned, they can create really strong emotional effects and help the users identify with on-screen individuals, right? They can easily show off a brand's personality, tone, and style. So for instance, you know, we've talked in this class before about the difference between like Starbucks and Dunkin' Donuts uh, and how Dunkin' Donuts is more about like fast and speed and stuff like that. And so I thought this was a great ad campaign that they did a while ago where they basically had um, this wingsuit um, person uh, jump off the top of a mountain and like grab a Dunkin' Donuts order, right? The fastest Dunkin' run, right, is the kind of tagline. I think that really shows kind of their spirit, their energy, right? It's all about speed and fast and that people really want their Dunkin'. Uh, and, you know, it's important to realize, right, that this content is primarily located on just a few number of services like YouTube and Vimeo, right, and things like that. Um, and so as a result, you want to make sure that you're playing by whatever the rules that they have and the spaces they have set up. Uh, in, in early 2013, for instance, when I have stats on, Google was the world's largest search engine with almost 19.5 billion searches in January alone, uh, which was a 67% market share. However, the second largest search engine at the time was, in fact, YouTube, right? Um, this indicates right, that people aren't just like browsing videos randomly. They're actually going to YouTube to search for a particular content. So making sure that your website and your, and your videos are well put together to capitalize on that um, can be very important. Right now, almost 72 hours of video, over 72 hours of video are uploaded every minute, right? And there's 4 billion hours of video being viewed each month on YouTube. So it's becoming a very, very popular and explosive medium. So of course, what everyone wants to do is go viral, right? So what is viral? What do we mean by that? Well, viral spread, if you think about it, is when for every user who sees the video, they share the video with at least more than one other user. As long as that is the case, right? As long as each person is sharing, then you kind of get this exponential growth pattern. It doesn't have to be much, right? Like if, if every person who watches a video shares that video with two people who haven't seen that video before, it wasn't take long for that video to receive a large number of views, right? Um, social media and sharing makes this easier than ever before. And there's a number of things that have really worked to encourage viral videos. No one knows exactly why a video goes viral, right? This is something that's currently kind of an open research question. But we do know that there are things that have worked well in the past. So addressing a currently trending topic or a topic that people are really interested in or a topic that people are generally interested in, right? Make sure the content is enticing and remarkable. The video usually needs to be fairly unique and usually short, and it has to be easy to share in many respects, right? You need to be able to explain the, the, the idea behind it in a fast way. Um, so, you know, for instance, Casey Neistat, who's a, is a very famous um, uh, 
video blogger, owns a, uh, actually has developed a couple companies in the space, but he has his own personal vlog. And uh, he actually did this video on the $21,000 first class airplane seat. Uh, it's a 14 hour flight he was on from uh, New York City to Dubai on Emirates Airlines, right? And so this kind of, by the way, winds up being essentially earned media for Emirates Airlines, which is a great example of how influencer marketing really works out for them, right? Uh, but this video has been viewed 34 million times, almost 35 million times, right? And it features many of these topics. It's on a topic that people are intrigued by, right? Like luxury accommodations, things like that. Luxury items is something people are always interested in. Casey is, you know, I mean, he's a fairly, he's a good, popular guy now, but he doesn't come from like a super rich background or anything like that. And so the fact that he gets to ride in the super highly rich, it allows you to kind of identify with him and identify and be kind of aspirational about uh, eventually getting to ride in that airline seat yourself, right? So it's a great example of content that really does feature many of the principles that make it easy to go viral. You also want to create content. So even though video engine videos themselves are not search engine optimized, they can create content that is search engine uh, optimized, right? Like, so you can, you can search engine optimize your actual content around the video to make it easier for people to find them, right? So you can have a, a title, which is very important that engages the people. You can have keywords and tags in, in, in the actual um, uh, video, the description that helps out. You can have a good, informative, long description. Uh, you can encourage people to comment, subscribe, and share, uh, which all encourages people to then find your video in another way. So you can uh, create a good thumbnail, right? Which then people will say, hey, I wanna see what that video is about and point right at it. You can use annotations throughout your video to really make it obvious. And most importantly, you should be uploading your content on a regular basis. Search engines are gonna rely upon this text that's around the video to decide what the video is about in most cases, right? And so you wanna make sure that that text is very definitive. Zappos does a good job of this, right? Like they have a video called What is Zappos? Probably something a lot of people type in. Uh, and if you notice, it says, allow us to introduce ourselves. Zappos is your one-stop shop for shoes clothing. Like it's, it's almost written as if it is a quick line describing what's going on. And they talk about their um, their features right away. Our feature, free shipping, free one year return policy, 24 seven customer service, right? All things that kind of highlight what's going on. Um, you really need to make sure that this content is as easy to find as possible and is appealing to the users when they do find it. You can promote your video in three basic different ways, right? Through owned content, earned content, and paid content, right? You can place the content in your own channel and encourage people to subscribe to your channel. Uh, and then you can create good SEO content around the video to draw additional users in, right? Uh, you can create earned content, right? So you can try to encourage other users to share your content. Um, encouraging the sharing of that will allow them to really expand and, and kind of naturally allow it to develop. This is how you get viral videos, right? And then finally, you can pay Google to promote your video and really kind of get it uh, started on its way. You can engage with the community as well in order to encourage um, more responses and more sharing. Uh, you can respond to comments, you can take feedback, and you can adapt the content as you're preparing it to the audience. Um, and of course, in all cases we've talked about with social media, you should have an interaction protocol in place to deal with this. Uh, one of my favorite examples is the Old Spice guy, right? And he did a whole series of videos that were responding to tweets and uh, comments that they had gotten both on Twitter and on YouTube uh, asking. And these were actual real videos that they then recorded responding to audience participation. Probably one of the best ones is this one that has about 1.8 million views that where basically they tweeted at Old Spice asking if the Old Spice guy would actually ask his girlfriend to marry him, right? Uh, and so he goes through the whole little spiel and he does like, it brings out candles and everything like that to ask the guy. I think that's a great example of how you can engage with your community. Now the advantage of video is that you can engage current consumers and really grow your social media space. Analytics are a great tool to helping you figure out what is the best content, what is engaging the users the most, and you can use paid media to get the ball rolling and then focus on the earned and the owned that really support that in media as much as possible. But of course, like anything, there's challenges. It has to be focused and engaging, the content. It can be difficult initially for many firms, and there's lots of lots of competition out there. 
For example, if you search pizza on YouTube, you get about 17.2 million videos, right? That's a lot of videos to be competing with. And so it's really important to make sure uh, that you write your videos in a, uh, an interesting and compelling way to make sure they're showing up the top of it. Um, by the way, the top two videos happen to both be from BuzzFeed, who's fantastic at doing good search engine optimization and clickbait, as we like to call it, right? Uh, and this is part of their Worth It series on uh, you know whether or not it's worth buying different levels of pizza right so um, anyways or different levels of food in many cases but um, that's it for videos um, so hopefully that gives you some idea about how to get started with your own video marketing